What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, I just want to let you guys know, hopefully this gameplay is going to be working perfectly fine. These past few days, I've been just going absolutely nuts trying to make GeForce Experience work for me. For anybody out there, don't use GeForce Experience or Shadow Play, whatever. It is awful absolutely awful so i'm gonna be trying streamlabs obs i stream with streamlabs obs and if you guys want to catch my live streams no stream today on sunday but on monday we're going to be playing this game that you're watching right here again so if you guys want a free code check out the stream on monday the link to that is down in the description but hopefully streamlabs obs will give us you know good quality footage no stutters and i'm actually going to try a little you know background gameplay in the back of this footage as well so let me know down in the comment section if you guys think that's a nice touch or not all right ladies and gentlemen i had to 110 percent put this video together i don't care if it's not an fps game i don't care if it's non call of duty or non-battlefield related i could give two craps each and every one of you guys have to give this game a try and it is called multiverses now i am a huge fan of fighting games but i will say i'm not that competitive with them the most time i usually spend in fighting games was you know super smash bros and stuff like that back on the gamecube and the nintendo wii and stuff like that you know moving more towards the present day things like mortal kombat and other fighting games weren't really too amazing for me because those games required way too much time just to get a entry level you know gameplay footage i guess i should say out of the product a single player campaign you know it rocks when it comes to mortal kombat i love the campaign but when it comes to multiplayer it is filled with the ultimate of ultimate sweats and it's nothing wrong with that but the problem that i have is the learning curve getting into that format and you know getting to the point where i can finally compete that's one of the main reasons why i love super smash bros because it was a fighting game it was complex there was combos there were things that you had to know to be successful, but it wasn't, you know, over the edge. You know, it wasn't like 50,000 different combinations that I need to learn in order to actually, you know, compete on, you know, a day-to-day -day average basis. You know, and obviously if I go up against a pro Super Smash Bros. player, they're going to absolutely whoop me down into the ground. But if I'm just casually playing, uh, you know, at least in Super Smash Bros., I can compete. Compared to a game like Mortal Kombat, you know, the base level of players who play that game are absolutely cracked out of their mind. I mean, they have 50,000 combos already locked down on every single character. It's insane. Now, the one problem with Super Super Smash Bros. is it's only a Nintendo product. Here we are with multiverses. This is finally on all platforms, and it gives me every last vibe that Super Smash Bros. gives me. And I, when I say I love this game, and I truly wish and hope each and every one of you guys give it a try, I really want you guys to give this game a try. Like I said, I've been out of the fighting scene for a long time because I kind of got discouraged. I haven't had Nintendo products in a long time. I haven't really, you know, played any of that stuff. And finally, a game has come out. You know, I tried Brawlhalla and all those other type of games. Not really interesting to me. This right here is absolute perfection. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you guys want to go ahead and get a code from my live stream, I do have drops enabled, but sadly, I'm not going to be streaming today on Sunday. Monday is going to be the day that I'm up and live. I'm going to be playing this game pretty much all day long with... Like I said, drops enabled. You guys can get your code from there. But if you do want to wait, be a little patient. Tuesday is going to be the day that this game goes free to play. Yes, you have heard that correctly. Not only is this one of the best fighting games I've ever touched, but it's also going to be free to play. And on top of the game being free, it is completely cross-play. I mean, you can go ahead and play PC with Xbox, PC with PlayStation, PlayStation with Xbox, any type of combination. No matter where your friends are located on whichever platform, you can go ahead and play with them. And the best part about this whole thing is that fighting games, it doesn't matter. You can't have any complaints oh you know controller op oh you know keyboard and mouse players they're absolutely cracked it's none of that fps bullshit this is a fighting game across the board it's equal you can see right here i'm using a keyboard for this gameplay and it works perfectly fine it actually works amazing on a keyboard i was completely shocked that you know it's actually pretty darn decent and if i don't want to do that i can plug in a controller to my pc and use that as well but regardless it's cross play i can play with all of my buddies and that just makes the experience 10 times better some of my most fond memories is hopping into super smash bros getting a bunch of my homies and friends you know where they're all coming over to my house couch gaming you know back in the day when couch gaming was actually something something that was fun i can get the same vibes out of this game right here now it's not the same as couch gaming obviously you know i'm playing with them over the internet but still it just it, it's so exciting whether you want to play with a buddy and go into pub matches and see how well you can do or just get four people and go into a private match do a complete free for all or even just do teams of 2v2 just messing around with all the characters and seeing who's best who can beat each other and just have a blast and also one thing in my personal opinion that makes super smash bros so popular is the fact that it's all the nintendo characters combined into one fighting 
game that's always been so iconic about Super Smash Bros. And as the franchise has moved along, they just keep adding to the roster, which makes it better and better. Now, that's been one of my main problems when it comes to all these other fighting games. You know, I don't really care for them because nobody's really iconic. I don't notice any of the players. And like I said, if it doesn't have that unique of a fighting system, it's not going to intrigue me. But no worries within this game. It has pretty much all of your favorite characters you could possibly think of. Anyone from Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, freaking Tom and Jerry, Finn and Jake from Adventure Time. They have some of the best cartoons in this game. They're actually going to be bringing in Rick and Morty very soon. And also when this game goes free to play this Tuesday, they're putting in LeBron James. Now, I don't know why they're doing LeBron James, but screw it. Free content. More people coming into the game, right? LeBron James is going to be up in the sucker. All I need now is for them to bring in the regular show because that is one of my favorite cartoons ever made known to mankind. I love the regular show. Give me muscle man, bro. <laughs> I need to hear this man screaming my mom every single time he beats someone up in this game. And on top of the large roster of characters that you could choose between and also the future characters coming into this roster, they also have tons of unique and interesting maps within this game that also change as you play within them. Some maps are, you know, just stable, normal platforms that have nothing unique. Others, the ground is dropping from you. You can, you know, burst right through some of the walls if you beat the crap out of someone enough on the side of the map. I mean, there's so much variety, and all of these maps relate to the characters within the game. They're not just random locations that make absolutely no sense. No, you're going to be playing in the Bat Cave. You're going to be playing on, you know, the Tree House from Adventure Time. I mean, there's so much variety in this game. Ugh, the future is looking insanely bright. And don't even get me started about the combat system. Like I said, when it comes to Super Smash Bros., the one thing that I loved about that game is the simplicity of it, you know, allowing anybody to come in with entry-level knowledge of the game and being able to actually still compete without having to sweat their nuts off and die every five seconds and, you know, want to uninstall the game. But at the same time, it's complex enough that you still have to learn things. You're not just going to hop on and spam one button. No, you actually have to learn how to play the game. And the same thing goes for this game right here. The combos are outstanding. There's tons of different moves per each character. And every character has a category as well. You have your tanks, you have your assassins, you have your, what are they called, brawlers or something like that. Like I said, I'm still trying to learn the whole game. But every single character has their own specific playstyle, And you have to play that character within that playstyle to be super effective. Which adds a layer of team play. Because you have to combine with your friends, with your buddies, or even with the random that you decide to squad up with on characters that are going to match each other correctly. And on top of the characters' classes and combos, they have perks as well. The more that you play with one specific character, the more perks and things that you're going to unlock. You know, extra damage, better defense for your squad, the list goes on. It's never ending. So literally, there's a never ending list of possibilities for every single combat style. You can even turn a tank into an aggro player. You can turn, you know, an aggro player into a tank. I mean, oh my god. The, like I said, the list goes on. It's amazing. And even though it's still partially complex, it's stuff to learn. Like I said, I hopped right into this game and I was already in love. I was already enjoying the experience. I already had a general understanding. And like I said, I'm on a keyboard. I'm on a keyboard and I'm still able to understand the gist of this whole game. And also one thing that I don't think a lot of you guys will think is very crucial, but for me personally, I really do appreciate this, is that these developers are not following the stupid ass trend that these dumb developers think is just outstanding, and that is disbanding lobbies. God, that pisses me off so much. Call of Duty, Battlefield, all these games, they just boot you after every single game. I, I, I don't know why. It ruins the friendships, it ruins the beefs, and it makes a bunch of losers. I mean, it, it literally breeds a bunch of people who talk crap for the last five seconds of the match because they know they don't have to deal with what you're going to say back or even verse you again. You know, it literally breeds losers. This right here is perfect. You can leave if you want to leave, and if you want to stay, you can do the best of three. It's all up to you. And even afterwards, you can add these people up. You can invite them to a private match. The game is just so open to the player. And the developers are very good at listening to the community's feedback. Another thing that I've been begging for all these other developers to do is listen to the feedback. Use what we say to fix up the game. Yet, all these other developers don't, but at least the developers for this game are doing exactly that. I mean... I don't know what else I could say that could truly convince someone else to just give this a try. I mean, it's free! It's free! Why would you not give it a try? Now, I will say, there is one thing that I'm worried about with the free-to-play method, and that is unlocking characters and, you know, grinding through battle passes and stuff like that. Unlocking different stuff in the game, like voice lines and stuff. A lot of that is going to cost you real money. Now, characters, you can get it with 2,000 coins, but I'm going to be real with you. Getting coins is very difficult in this game. I mean, I played about four and a half hours. I was only able to unlock one character. One character. Now, that's not bad because, you know, you want to go ahead and play these characters. You want to grind up and rank up all these characters to max level. You want to lock everything for these characters. So, you're going to be playing with these characters for quite a bit, and you're going to be having a lot of variety. But when it comes time, I just don't know how 
hard it's going to be to actually branch out. Now, that's something that I'm not going to really be too concerned about just yet. I'm going to wait until the game is like a month or two in when we actually are at that point when we want to go ahead and unlock and buy a bunch of characters. But currently, it is kind of a pain in the butt to unlock the full roster. You know what I'm saying? At a certain point, if you want to get everybody right away, you are going to have to go ahead and cough up some cash. So I hope this isn't going to be paid to win because, you know, they could add in new people like, you know, LeBron James could be absolutely cracked and you have to pay, you know, to get coins to get him. Or uh, Rick and Morty are going to be absolutely cracked. And again, people are going to pay coins to get them. And it's going to be the same thing as Call of Duty where, you know, it's not pay to win because all the f all the weapons are free. They're in the battle pass. Yet and still, people are still paying 20, 30, 40 bucks to grind right through the battle pass to get the weapons right away before they nerf them, right? I mean, it it's all part of the method. I just hope that developers don't take that path when it comes to this game. If they can avoid that and they can make this game for absolutely everybody, I'll be happy. I mean, I could play this game all the time just with the base characters that I got, the base perks that I got, and I am completely, when I say completely, I mean completely content. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, a bonus, I hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me, the stories do so on Twitter and Discord, both linked down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams of video games, do over on Twitch, link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.